how to make 10 YouTube shorts from one podcast using AI, starting with a very simple edit before leveling up to something much more eye-catching. Now, I don't have a podcast of my own, so I'm going to use this interview with Robert Downey Jr. as an example, which as you can see, is over an hour long. And instead of watching it all the way through to find some highlights manually, I'm going to get ChatGPT to do that work for me. What are 10 highlights from the Joe Rogan podcast with Robert Downey Jr.? So there you go. It's now written me 10 different ideas that I can use for YouTube shorts. There's no need to watch the interview myself, but there is something you should bear in mind. To actually get views on your YouTube shorts, it's a great idea to lean into trending topics. But ChatGPT isn't much help with this because it only has knowledge going up to 2021. So you should still look for ideas from this list that you think have the most potential to trend. For example, if a new Marvel movie is about to come out, this highlight here where he talks about his experience of playing Iron Man in the Marvel Universe could have some decent viral potential. Now, sadly, ChatGPT won't tell me exactly when this moment appears Appears in the podcast. So to do that, I'm going to copy the link to the video from YouTube, head to youtubetranscript.com, paste the link into the box, hit go. And as you can see, that has now transcribed the entire video into text, which I can now search through. By hitting command F and opening up the search function, I can just type in Marvel. And that has now highlighted every time that Marvel is mentioned in the interview. So all I need to do is just skip through and find a mention that looks interesting for a YouTube short. And a great thing about this transcript tool is that you can just click a bit of text on the right hand side and it takes you straight to that point within the video. So I now have a time code for when my clip can start. And now we can make that simple edit using V.io, which has several really cool AI features that are going to save us a hell of a lot of time. After you've logged in, hit new video, create project, upload the podcast file from your computer, which will then be added into the timeline. I already know that my clip is 45 minutes through the video. So all I'm going to do is move my playhead to that point in the timeline, hit split and just delete that first chunk of video. And I'm just going to move the file right to the start of the timeline. Now I'm going to place the playhead where I want my clip to end, hit split again and delete that second part. So now that we have our clip cut down, let's change it to the right shape. And I can do this just by hitting the preset for YouTube short from the drop down menu. And I can move the video to the middle of the canvas like so. And now we get to some really cool features. YouTube shorts need to be very fast paced. So I want to remove any pauses or silences from this interview in order to boost my retention. And I can do this in Veed with just one click. Over on the left hand side, hit the auto silence remover. And as you can see in just a second, it's removed any silences from my clip. It's simple. Just above that, you also have the option to clean audio. So if you've got any strange background noise or your recording is just a little bit low quality, then you can just click this button and the Veed AI will fix it for you. Check it out. This is what a recording can sound like beforehand. This is one of the most iconic views in Thailand. And this is what it sounds like after you've used the AI. This is one of the most iconic views in Thailand. Pretty cool. And next is another massive time saver. Adding captions can boost the engagement and retention of your shorts by making them watchable, even on mute. But adding subtitles manually can take a really long time. So luckily, Veed can add them automatically. Go to subtitles, auto subtitle, create subtitles, and Veed will listen to all of the audio in your video before adding that text on top of your project. I can then customize that text with animated presets. I can change the font, I can change the color, and I can move the text to wherever I want within the frame. So that is a very simple short, but let's take our edits to the next level. Shorts with bright colors and animated elements can help grab the attention of potential viewers as they scroll through their feed. And you don't even need to know how to edit in order to make something that looks like this. Go back to your list on ChatGPT, find that clip within the interview and back on Veed, start a new project by selecting the template option. First, you can narrow down the filters to only show portrait templates. And as you can see, there are literally hundreds of different styles to choose from with different animated effects and layouts. So when you see one you like, just click on it, hit start editing, and inside the editor, you can now replace and customize everything you see on screen. Hit the example video, then replace video on the left hand side to add your podcast clip, then change any of the text and animations by clicking on them in the timeline and typing in whatever you want, which is going to leave you with a really professional looking final product, no matter which one you pick. It's also worth bearing in mind that Veed has a built in stock footage and audio library, which opens up even more options for editing. 
For example, if I'm making a short about Robert Downey Jr. talking about his love of music, I could overlay some clips of musicians over the top of him talking. To do this, all you have to do is go to media on the left hand side, scroll down to the stock video library and just search for whatever you want. So in this case, I'm just going to type in piano. And as you can see, there are literally hundreds of different options and I can add one down into the timeline just by clicking on it. And then I could just click and drag the ends of it to adjust the length. And the stock audio options work in the exact same way. I could just type in whatever I want, add it down into the timeline and adjust it to the right length. So as you can see, by using AI, making 10 YouTube shorts is actually pretty easy. But if you want to learn about the most common YouTube shorts mistakes that are stopping your channel from getting views, you should definitely check out this video next and I'll see you guys in the next one.